Voice Meter Banana is a virtual audio mixer allowing you to connect multiple audio sources and applications together such as microphones, media players, and video games. Here's a quick guide to set it up for OBS and XSplit broadcasting and recording. To get started, open up your sound playback devices. You'll want to scroll down until you see Voice Meter Aux input and set that as your default playback device. In Voice Meter Banana, there are two sets of audio outputs physical and virtual. Your physical outputs are A1 through A3, going to either your speakers or your headset, and your virtual outputs are B1, B2, going to XSplit or OBS. You'll want to set A1 to either your speakers or a headset, whichever you'll be using. Next are input devices, which also have two sets, hardware and virtual. Your virtual inputs are what comes from your computer, such as system sounds, videos, music, anything like that. Currently, since we have it set to voice meter aux input, it is running under voice meter aux. We have our audio out to A1, which goes to our speakers, and our B1, which goes out to XSplit and OBS. Hardware inputs are what's actually physically connected to your computer. For input 1, I have my microphone set up. Input 2, I have a line in, which comes from my 3DS. And input 3, I currently have as empty. Under your microphone settings, you'll want to make sure A1 isn't selected. Since A1 is being sent out to your speakers, you'll just end up hearing yourself and get a bit of a feedback. It's useful if you want to be testing something with either a voice filter or echo or anything like that, but leave it unselected when you're actually broadcasting. B1 is set through all the channels, which goes straight to my virtual output, which goes to my XSplit and OBS settings. You'll also want to set up a noise gate for your microphone. And what this does is put a threshold limit on the volume of your microphone so that if you had a moment of silence, your microphone would cut out and you can't hear any of the background noise. For me personally, I found that anywhere between 4 and 6 works really well. Uh, it all depends on how or where your microphone is positioned and how loudly you talk. So play around with that find a noise gate that works well for you so that your microphone is only being picked up when you're actually talking. A quick note about the virtual outputs in Voice Meter Banana is that B1 is considered the VAIO or the virtual output, while B2 is the aux or auxiliary output. And you want to keep that in mind when you're setting things up in XSplit and OBS. And to show you what I mean, we're going to dive into OBS's settings here. If we come over to audio, you can leave your desktop audio device to default. Our microphone audio device will want to set to Voice Meter Output or the VAIO. That's bus 1 or B1. Voice meter aux is B2. Since we have everything set to B1, we'll set it to voice meter output or the VAIO. We can hit apply OK. And if we were to preview the stream, what would happen is you can see me talking here like this. You'll also want to make sure that you turn off or mute the desktop audio in OBS. Because what happens when we start playing music is the music is ran through the VAIO, which comes through my microphone. So all the system sounds, any video game sounds, my microphone, it's all coming through this one system. If we didn't turn off the desktop audio, you can actually get an overlap of the sound system, but not the microphone of what's being played through OBS. So just make sure you leave that off, or you'll have a kind of an overlap, and it'll be a little bit louder than normal, or what you're actually um, listening to. We can stop the preview there, we'll minimize that. Let's hop over to XSplit, it's the exact same setup in XSplit. It's a little bit nicer since system sound it allows you to select none instead of the default. And then our microphone will want to set to VAIO as well. And it's the exact same setup as in OBS. Everything is being ran through my microphone source right now and not the audio or the desktop audio. We can stop the music there. And so there's the basics to setting up voice meter banana with OBS and XSplit. In the next guide, I'm going to talk about setting up virtual audio cables, allowing you to control separate media players and video game applications from your system sounds. This allows you to kind of control what the stream does and doesn't hear while you're playing or recording. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you like the rest of my content, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.